Bioavailability. Bioavailability is the fraction of administered drug that reaches the systemic circulation. For example, if 100 mg of a drug are administered orally and 70 mg of this drug are absorbed and changed, the bioavailability is 70%. Determining bioavailability is important for calculating drug dosages for non-intravenous routes of administration. The route by which a drug is administered, as well as the chemical and physical properties of the agent, affects its bioavailability. Determination of bioavailability Bioavailability is determined by comparing plasma levels of a drug after a particular route of administration for example, oral administration, with plasma drug levels achieved by IV injection in which the total agent rapidly enters the circulation. When the drug is given orally, only part of the administered dose appears in the plasma. By plotting plasma concentrations of the drug versus time, the area under the curve, AUC, can be measured. This curve reflects the extent of absorption of the drug. Bioavailability of a drug administered orally is the ratio of the area calculated for oral administration compared with the area calculated for IV injection if doses are equivalent. Factors that influence bioavailability in contrast to IV administration, which confers 100% bioavailability, oral administration of a drug often involves first-pass metabolism. This biotransformation, i.e. first-pass metabolism, in addition to the drug chemical and physical properties, determines the amount of the agents that reaches the circulation and at what rate. First pass hepatic metabolism. When a drug is absorbed across the GI tract, it first enters the portal circulation before entering the systemic circulation. If the drug is rapidly metabolized in the liver or gut wall during this initial passage, the amount of an exchanged drug that gains access to the systemic circulation is decreased. Note that first pass metabolism by the intestine or liver limits the efficacy of many drugs when taken orally. For example, more than 90% of nitroglycerin is cleared during a simple passage through the liver, which is the primary reason why this agent is administered via the sublingual route. Drugs that exhibit high first pass metabolism should be given in sufficient quantities to ensure that enough of the active drug reaches the target concentration. Solubility of the drug Very hydrophilic drugs are poorly absorbed because of their inability to cross the lipid-rich cell membranes. Paradoxically, drugs that are extremely hydrophobic are also poorly absorbed because they are totally insoluble in aqueous body fluids and therefore cannot gain access to the surface of cells. For a drug to be readily absorbed, it must be largely hydrophobic, yet have some solubility in aqueous solutions. This is one reason why many drugs are weak acids or weak bases. Chemical instability. Some drugs such as penicillin G, are unstable in the pH of the gastric contents. Others, such as insulin, are destroyed in the GI tract by degradative enzymes. Nature of the drug formulation Drug absorption may be altered by factors unrelated to the chemistry of the drug. For example, particle size salt form, crystal polymorphism, enteric coatings, 
and the presence of excipients, such as binders and dispersing agents, can influence the ease of dissolution and therefore alter the rate of absorption. Bioequivalence Two related drug preparations are bioequivalent if they show comparable bioavailability and similar times to achieve peak blood concentrations and when they are processed and metabolized by the body in the same way. Therapeutic equivalence The conditions that must be met for two similar drug products to be therapeutically equal They are bioequivalent. They are pharmaceutically equivalent. Same active ingredients, dosage, concentration, strength, and route of delivery. They have similar clinical and safety profiles. Note that. All therapeutically equivalent drugs must be bioequivalent, but not all bioequivalent drugs are therapeutically equivalent. For example, if two drugs are metabolized in the same way, but do not have the same safety profile, they are bioequivalent, but not therapeutically equivalent. If you are new here, Welcome to this channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell, you won't regret it.